Okay, one other comment, actually a couple more comments before we finish this page is I want you to see how to do this in the calculator and I want you to know um, how to do this. So uh, in StatCrunch we can find the standard deviation and the variance but for raw data. Um, we can do it a different way for other things but I'll show you that in another section. Okay, so let me show you how to do this. So let me go find StatCrunch. Here it is. All right, so I have this data set. I'll just close this window from before. We don't need it again. So I'm going to show you how to find the standard deviation and the variance. So stat, summary stat, columns. It's the same thing we've been using to find the mean, to find this um, range, to find the median, to find the mode. It's all in here. And you can click both exams if you like. We only did the statistics exam, so I'm just going to click statistics exam. Now, the standard deviation. This is get where it gets a little interesting. There's the variance right there below the mean, and there's the standard deviation. So if I hit control, click, I have it. So those are going to be the S values. If I hit compute, you can see them. There they are. Those are the values of S squared right here and S right here. Sample variance, sample standard deviation. If I go to options edit, or I mean, I can just do it again so you can see. So stat, summary stat, columns, statistics exam. I want the standard deviation and the variance. It will actually give them to you in whatever order you click them, just so you know. So if you want standard deviation first, then click it first. If you want variance first, click it first. I'm going to scroll down, and I want you to see there's two more down here. Unadjusted. That's what that stands for. Unadjusted variance, unadjusted standard deviation. So I'm going to select those as well. So I'm going to select all four of these and click Compute. And you can see, oh, right, there's the S squared value. Right. There's the sigma squared value. The unadjusted ones are the ones that are coming from the population. So if it's a population, you say unadjusted. If it's a sample, you say adjusted. All right, so we had to write all that down. <laughs> okay, so first of all, the stat crunch path. So stat crunch path is stat, summary stat, Oops, some summary stat columns. Right, same as it has been through section 3.1 to find the meaning, median, and mode, as well as this section to find the range. It's what it still is, right? Stat, summary stat, columns. All right, then we learned that the unadjusted variance. is the sigma squared one, which is the population one, and the unadjusted standard deviation is the sigma, right? So these are the population values. I'm just going to do that and say these are the population values. The regular variance and the regular standard deviation, this is S squared and this is S. These are the sample values. So if your data set is a sample, you would use the regular standard deviation and variance. If your data set is a population, you use the unadjusted ones. I'll make a note of that up here, right? So note, these values are unadjusted in StatCrunch. That's actually what the degrees of freedom is. The degrees of freedom is adjusting for the fact that it's a sample. This n minus 1 business is making an adjustment. So the unadjusted, right, that's what it stands for, unadj right, unadjusted, um, our values are in stack crunch, are the sigma squared and the sigma. Right, so the unadjusted ones are the population values. Um, and then real quickly before we leave this page, the relationship between the variance and standard deviation. Okay, so the variance is the standard deviation squared. Lovely, beautiful. Let me give you some examples. Suppose I told you that the standard deviation was 5, then you know the variance is the square of that 
is 25. And I'll do one better. If you know this is um, inches, for example, this is inches squared. That's how the units work. Um, just to give you one more example, a standard deviation is 7 feet. Then the variance would be 49 feet squared. That is how it works. Similarly, the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. I think this comes up in one of your worksheets at least. So let me give you an example of that. <laughs> so if I tell you that the variance is 100, oops, I'm going to say $100 um, dollars squared, dollars squared. That means that the standard deviation is the square root of 100, which is 10 and it would be dollars. Right? That's how variance and standard deviation relate to each other. Now I'm going to show the TI Smart View, or TI calculator, sorry, I'm using a Smart View program, the TI calculator really quickly here, but if you're not using a TI calculator, you can skip ahead to the next video. All right, now the thing about the TI calculator is that it does find both of these values. Let me grab the calculator. All right, so here's the calculator. So I have the data entered by hitting stat and then number one for edit. So the data are right there. And then I hit stat, calculate, one variable, L1, right? Just like we've been finding everything for this chapter. Now you can see SX. Right? X, of course, is the name for the data. So S is the standard deviation if it was a sample. Sigma is the standard deviation if it was a population. So they're right there. Now the thing about the calculator is that it does not find variance, um, which generally isn't a super big problem for us, but it, it's annoying, <laughs> right? Because that means you'll have to go find it yourself. So it's just something to keep in mind. The calculator does not find those values. So if you want to write calculator instructions for yourself, Sorry, I'm trying to adjust my light here. Uh, let's see here. I'll just put it down here at the bottom. So for the TI calculator, uh, stat, summary stat columns, or no, sorry, stat calc, that's it. Stat calc, one variable, right? It does find both S and Sigma, right? S X is S and Sigma X is Sigma, right? This is the sample value for the standard deviation. This is the population value for the standard deviation, but it does not find the variance. You find the variance on your own by taking those values and squaring them. Right? So you'll have to take those values and square them yourself using this formula right here. Right? Take your standard deviation and square it and you'll be able to find that variance. If you're with a TI calculator, that's your option.